YouTube, welcome in. It is the start of the Detroit Tigers franchise here on the YouTube channel. I am Crazy Coach, if you do not know that. Um, and I really appreciate you checking out this franchise series. We're going to take it uh, at a little bit faster pace than what I normally do with my 162 game franchises. With this franchise, you know, we're going to we're going to see some gameplay, going to see some simulation, going to see some critical moments, but we're going to keep things moving through. Um, and we're going to see how quickly we can get the Detroit Tigers back to the uh, the top of the major leagues. It's been since 1984 uh, since they've won a World Series. Um, they had a World Series appearance in 2006. And since then, they've been a pretty mediocre team in the American League Central. But we're going to try to get them atop the American League Central here very quickly. A couple of storylines that you know about the Detroit Tigers right now. Miguel Cabrera in real life just recently hit 3,000 hits. In the franchise, he is 13 hits away from 3,000. We've got a lot of young starters in the um, in the pitching rotation that we're going to look at and see who can improve and develop as this franchise goes along. Uh, we're going to work on getting the bullpen. There's a lot of young pieces and um, veterans in the lineup that we're going to have to see how they gel together. As we look here at the depth chart, um, we'll start here with the story of Miguel Cabrera as he's coming in at age 38 in his 19th major league season. He still is a contributor on offense. His power is not there like it used to be, uh, but you see his contact numbers are there. His, his, his fielding and his speed is nearly non-existent. That's why he's going to DH for us. But you see here as he is coming in at 2,987 hits, so he should hit 3,000 here very quickly, just like he did in real life. Then as we move around the diamond at catcher, we got Tucker Barnhart and Eric Haas. And um, these guys are going to platoon. Eric Haas has a great power against lefties, so we're going to let him uh, platoon any day that there's lefties. He's going to be in that lineup. Then we have the uh, the rookie, one of the top five prospects in all of Major League Baseball, Spencer Torkelson, comes in at a 74 overall A potential. Um, he can play third. He can play a little bit of the outfield. But for right now, we're going to let him lock down first base as his fielding develops a little bit more. We may look to move him over to third base at some point in the future. Then Jonathan Scope, one of the guys you can kind of play all over the diamond in the infield. He can play second, first, third, and shortstop. He is a true veteran. Um, we have him locked in for another two years here. And uh, looking very excited here as he's only 30 years old. Should be should be great there for us at second base, but can also play him all over the place when people need a rest. At shortstop, the new signing, Javier Baez, he just signed a um, six-year deal worth $23.3 million per year. He's going to play shortstop. Um, he can also play second, third, and center field. So the versatility of the middle infield is nice for the Detroit Tigers. I think a six-year deal of $23.3 million is, 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 is just fine. As he, he is better against lefties, um, but he has power to both sides. His fielding's great. He's a wizard on the base pass. Um, excited for Javier Baez here in Detroit. And then at third base, we're going to have Heimer Candelario locking it down for us there. Um, he's 28 years old. What is he now? He's 73 B potential switch hitter. Um, really going to see how he develops and if he keeps that third base spot. Because as you see here, we got Willie Castro, who's 24 years old, switch hitter as well. Um, really good against lefties, but he can play over the diamond as well at second, third, short, left, and right field. Um, the versatility of what these Detroit Tigers can do defensively is nice. And then the, the big trade right before the regular season happened was Austin Meadows, 83 overall, A potential, only 26 years of age, and team control for the next two seasons after this season on only a $4 million deal. This is a great pickup and has very good power against righties um, and very serviceable in the field with um, decent speed and fielding. At center field, we have Akil Badu, 73 overall, B potential, bats left, throws left, and... Uh, you know, he had a good start to last year. His his first game, he comes in with a 200 or first season, 259, uh, excuse me, 259 average with 330 on base percentage with a 436 slug, 766 OPS. That kind of trickled down as the season went along. Um, ended up with a 2.2 war. Um, does have a pretty high strikeout percentage there at 26 and a half. So we'll see how he develops. But he's only 23 years old. Lefty bat has decent power against righties. And then in right field, we got the switch hitter, Robbie Grossman. Um, can play all over the outfield. He's 32 years old. He's kind of a veteran as he came from Oakland. He's played in Minnesota, Houston. He's kind of been a journeyman in the American League, um, but still a very, very good bat and serviceable there on defense. And like you said, Willie Castro can be out there for us. Derek Hill is a very good speedster, um, defensive replacement and late base running kind of guy that we could look for there. Then as you look at the starting rotation, Spencer Turnbull, 29 years old, going to be kind of the veteran of the uh, – of the rotation now at 29 years old, 80 overall B potential. Edward Eduardo Rodriguez, 78 year old, 
78 overall, 28 year old. Um, played a lot of time in Boston, having his first year here in Detroit. Uh, comes in as, with a five year, $15.4 million per year deal from Venezuela. Michael Pineda, the former uh, Minnesota Twin, former New York Yankee, 33 years old, um, a veteran in this starting rotation for us. Then Casey Mize, one of the young guns. We have several young pitchers that's going to see if they can all pan out, and if they do, this team could be dangerous in the years to come. 24 years of age, a potential 75 overall, throws a four-seamer slider, sinker, splitter, curveball, um, has great break on it, decent velocity, um, really needs to work on his case per nine. He doesn't miss a lot of, at bat, a lot of bats. And then Tariq Skubal, 25 years old, a potential one of those other guys. And then looking at the future, you know, you start seeing guys like Tyler Alexander, um, coming up the rotation. Then you get a little bit further down the line, you get guys like Matt Manning um, and then Riley Green. Some of these some of these future future stars, you know, Riley Green's 21 years old. He's already a 70 overall, a potential guy. He will find his way into the um, major league team before long. And then just an overlook at where we're at in the American League Central. It's not a great division. You know, you have the Twins, the Royals, the Tigers, the Guardians, and the White Sox. The White Sox are probably the clear favorite to win the division. But, you know, in real life right now, the Twins are winning the division. Um, the Royals have a lot of young talent um, coming up. The Guardians, they got Jose Ramirez, Framel Reyes, a lot of speed. We'll see how they handle. So this is a division where the Tigers could end up leading the division in, you know, just a couple of years. And that's where we're really looking to go there. Um, other than that, that's kind of the overlook of where this franchise is going to go. And I hope you enjoy the content. As we get ready to get into some gameplay, in our next episode, we're going with, um, with the opening day game against the uh the seattle mariners uh logan gilbert and spencer turnbull will be on the bump there in the first game so this is just an overview of my first franchise video um i hope as this franchise goes along i get a little more comfortable with it um, but i really do appreciate you guys checking out the 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 franchise and if you if you like the content please make sure to subscribe you know hit that notification bell and give it a thumbs up it really helps out and any comments anything you want to see in this franchise make sure to comment below i do respond to comments very quickly um but once again, thank you for checking out the franchise and uh, and hopefully you'll be ready for episode one as we get ready for opening day. Thanks.